Good evening and welcome back to the second game of the series between Navi and Burden United. We're here, of course, for the Dota 2 Champions League. And this game is actually very important for Burden United. Maybe not as much for Navi, but they want to prove that they still have what it takes to actually win games, which they weren't able to prove in the first game as they were... Well, they lost. Uh, we do have a second one or a new player instead of Vanscore who did have connection issues, which might have been a cause for them to not win the game. We have 1437 instead of Vanscore right now. And of course, let me also welcome in my co caster, Admiral Bulldog. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. All right. Yes. 1437. Yes. What do you think? I think he loves Shiva forever. What? Or rather, I love, or, the, like, it stands for, I love you forever, right? Uh, 1437. Uh, but it could also be, I love you, Shiver. Say like the that. amount of letters! <laughs> All right. All right. I loves, guess he's going to play the support then. Loves me uh, the mastermind <clears throat> behind Secret. Well, he's your coach. Yeah. Uh, so well, we'll see. And he said he's been um, playing for a long time himself. Yeah, and he said being a coach made him a better player as well. In an interview we did with him, so yeah, I mean, Sacred has been you know being okay, so he, he <laughs> doing does fairly like. okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we we're gonna have the sniper removed, so regardless of uh, Navi not winning game one with sniper, looks like Birdie United doesn't want to deal with it. And uh, they will also not be playing with the troll themselves again. At this time, they will be playing against the troll. Hero that's still in the pool was banned out previous game. However, Shadow Fiend. You think we're going to mm. see Shadow Fiend this game? Or without a Vengeful Spirit, maybe not as strong? Storm well, I, I think Dendi likes that hero a lot. So it's, it's a really good hero. It's not maybe at the same level as troll. You know, troll every game. Every pub. Every game troll. Uh, I wish I could have bans as well. Because then I wouldn't have to see them. But yeah, they ban out Bat and Vengeful. Both heroes that fall off and come back a bit. I mean, Bat has been nerfed so many times. And still, he's such a good hero because of the concept of the hero. I don't think that's really going to change ever. Um, and they get the Storm again. I guess it worked out pretty well for them. Even though mm. he died a couple times. But you know, he created the space. Yeah, It worked out fine. Yeah, when Sing Sing started fighting on his troll, um, basically that was the fight they won. So, um, mission accomplished in that regard, despite dying. Of course, they won't have to troll this time themselves. So they'll have to find something else to do that work for them. And so far, Navi has already picked up a Skyrath Mage in combination with the troll. It's a nice amount of slow coming out as yeah. well. Where do you think the troll will be laned for Navi? Well... I mean, Five seconds remaining. I think yeah, obviously he was going to play. I think I think then he played maybe once or twice. I'm not sure, but yeah, the Reserve biggest time. chance is I'm going to play safe lane. But the scarab mage, mage usually it, it's a great hero because in the laning phase it just zones out an offlaner so easily. But since they have troll, it, they probably don't need that. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them go like dual lane maybe off lane with the scarab, or just just in the beginning at least, or maybe starting him mid just spamming out the storm spirit. Because this troll, I mean, one of the reasons troll is so good is this laning phase is insane. Really fast, has a slow, has a mischance. Mm -hmm. I hate him. <laughs> well, so far we don't have the other uh, hero in the pool yet that you hate, or rather in the game yet. Tree and Protector still in the pool if they want to go for it. This time no Phoenix banned out just yet, so if they want to go for it, they probably should go for it fairly soon. But for now we're going to have... Uh, first a couple more extra bands, so, tr so uh, Clockwork is removed, and now also Shadow Fiend. For Burning United, they have got the Storm, which last Five game seconds. they laned on the safe lane. They have the Earthshaker themselves this time, Navi had a previous game, of course. What do you think for, for Burning United? Is there anything you would like to see from them, that you hope that you get to see from them? I would like to see a Dazzle. Oh, they picked Dazzle. Oh, nice. wow! Wow. Uh, but okay, so Dazzle... <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you just put the storm safe on again. Uh, it depends what hero Navi is picking. Because you generally want storm to have a good time. And if they pick a good laner mid, you're just, just going to put, put him safe. 
Uh, it's been pretty popular recently. I know Nip does Storm Safe a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's still a fine mid hero. Uh, yeah, it's probably mid uh, safe lane right now. Five seconds remaining. And well, right now the draft is pretty open. We still have a Queen of Pain in the pool as well. One thing that um, Shox got played Reserve pretty nicely time. previous game. Yeah, I mean that hero. It's a, it's a good hero. It's not a hero you need to pick every game though, like Troll or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean if something works for you, generally you you stick to it. So we, we can see that again. But I'm not Cop is not as good this game, I don't think, uh, because Troll is well. If Troll ever gets close to him, Cop will die, and Skyver has a silence. And um, so yeah, and now we say pick something to work with this guy with mage because it's kind of a wasted hero if you don't have an ult setup or you can set up something for the ult mm -hmm. doesn't have to be you know a clock clock or anything it's just a stun or a, a decent stun that can roam with them we'll see what they're gonna pick for that and then actually with dazzle picked up for burning united they could choose to stack some extra minus armor and go for the slaughter it would be a burning decent one united burning united yeah yeah, Slaughter could work, but that forces Storm to be mid though, which yeah. I'm not sure how confident they are in it. I mean, Storm is a good mid, but well, all right. I don't think that Storm will want to be mid now. Wow, I think he has to go with mid though, or Phantom Lancer mid? What do you make of the Phantom Lancer? Because, I mean, after the after the buffs he's got, or rather he got put back into cap uh, Captain's mode, rather. He hasn't, well, he has been picked a couple of times, but not, like, a ton of times. Well... He's a good hero. I don't think the times he's been picked, he's been super good or anything. He doesn't seem to have that high win rate, but I don't know exactly what the win rate is. But remaining. yeah, the hero, I played him a couple times after the changes. Five and he's really fun remaining. to play. Uh, he's really good mid as well. So you can play him mid, especially against Night Stalker. I think that's a fine matchup. Uh, but the hero itself. Hmm. Yeah, I. I it's not a skill build, pro players build on it, and I don't agree with it. They skill stats over skills, which I find very weird. We're going to see what Sing Song builds, or skills on it. Do you think it's weird to pick a Phantom Lancer into a Troll Warlord, as that is, of course, a pretty decent hero to go up against him? I mean, you can instantly know who the real one is. Illusions will die maybe from the Whirling Axes at the start, at least. Reserve time. Well, since one of the Illusions takes as much damage as the hero, it's yeah. never that easy to find out which the real one is, and... Phantom Lancer is pretty good at taking long fights as well, King Kite with his uh, W. So uh, as soon as, after Troll has used his whirling axis, that's when he can go in and then he can land fight the Troll. Ooh. Buying the Fusion as well. So, so Zeus ban. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah. And I, I happen to have an eye on the chat. And something about the techies was said. Yeah, I'm stream sniping. So someone said something about techies and the Zeus ban came and then all of a sudden I have techies in my mind. They do ban out the brood. Because normally you ban out Zeus when you're going to play something, you know, that requires vision. Or rather, like, no well, lack of true sight, no, perhaps. Now it's got a really aggressive lineup. But since they have the Scarlet Mage already, which makes lanes easier, they can pick a greedy support early game. Like the Zeus, which could work really Ten good at. Which, yeah, it would have worked pretty well this game. It's good against Earth Trigger as well. Because the ult cancels remaining. his dagger. Um, yeah, that would have been really good, actually. Because Navi is... I mean, they're going to be pretty aggressive. Night Stalker is an aggressive hero. I'd like to see Sand King for Navi, actually. Uh, actually, Night Stalker. I think that might be support. Support Night uh, Stalker? I think it's Suneko that plays support. There's someone in Idec that plays support Night Stalker a lot. And it's pretty good. Yeah, it's proper support, actually. Navi's turn to pick. It might be. In which case, yeah. well, rip Sand King. Rip if Sand if Night Stalker is support and they have like Bristleback offline troll wherever, which hero would you favor going up against? That's probably gonna be the Storm. Then the hero. Yeah. They banned a decent amount that Ten he likes to play. Remaining. Shadow of Inalina would have been pretty good. Um. I'm not sure what hero here you want to pick. Behold, behold. Well, uh, the Magnus. The Magnus right. it is. The Denny Magnus. So they're probably going to... Well, they can still or put Phantom Master mid. Oh, okay. This is some weird stuff going on. Then they troll... Revolves Bristleback. 
Are nice. they still gonna swap? No, they're gonna play like that. This is good Havos hero. It's a four hero. You just run in and you do crazy stuff. Perfect for him. I like it. That's true. That actually that makes a lot of sense. I'm all for that. Well, that means that we have everybody picked up their hero, picking up their heroes. I mean, DK Phobos Magnus is actually one of his signature heroes as well. He used to play that a lot together with the Centaur. What happened to Centaur? Why is he ignored? Explain. Centaur. Oh, good old. Well, the seconds. problem with Centaur is you can You want. You used to be offlane, but then he got nerfed. And the problem with him offlane is if you saw him out, he's uh, an awful hero. You get daggered mid twenty, and it's not good enough. Uh, so, but he's still picked up as a safe laner now and then. But yeah, it, it's just the minor nerfs, and he's just so bad in offlane right now. Too slow. All right, Stockholm. Stockholm. All right, then there's high ping. So if he dies, it's because of ping. Yes. Excuses set. Well played. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at who's playing what. As uh, for Navi, they'll be on the dire side for this match. So we got it. So up to round. We have Denny playing the Troll Warlord. Seneco will play the Night Stalker. It will be the Sa Stun in one four three seven playing the Skywrath Mage. DK Phobos on the Magnus, and then last but not least, it is a Vost. Playing the Bristleback. Alright, and Paris is playing the Brewmaster. We got Necroman on the Storm. And it seems like my nuts are playing Earthshaker today. Mm -hmm. And Sing Song is playing the Phantom Lancer. And Come With Me is the Dazzle. Indeed, and already trying to see if they can see someone placing wards in their jungle like they did previously. But this time, it's a fairly defensive ward coming out from DK Phobos. Uh, the only aggressive one is the one blocking the small camp on the dire side from uh, Shokshka Paris. I was going to see if he can get the rune, which will probably not be a good thing for him to try, because it looks like the hate train is ready for him to show up. Yeah, both the runes are going to go to each the team that they want. Yeah. Uh, and the Magnus Offlane, I love Magnus Offlane, it's a great hero. I'm surprised we don't see it more in Offlane. Mm, is he going to have a... A decent time against uh, the semi tri lane that's going to be there. I say semi because Air Shaker. I'm oh. not sure if he's going to rotate there or not. He's going to have an awful time. <laughs> but hopefully they rotate with Seneco and Skyrath. <clears throat> okay, so Magnus having an awful time. How big does, does that impact his game? Well, it's offlane. You don't expect much from offlanes. You really expect them to have dagger at least minute 20. Okay, minute 20 yeah, dagger. DK Phobos, if he, if he doesn't get that, I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, he should have it. It's a minute 20. It's pretty generous, I think. Okay. Otherwise, we play him. Yes. That's a good idea. Well, a troll versus a storm. Who would you put in favor in, in this mid lane? Actually, wait a second. Because uh, Shokshka... No, Shokshka is fine. So, troll versus storm. One versus one. Based on hero. Which, which mm. one will win? I think both form. Um, to me. But the troll has high kill potential, I think. But yeah, I think both will just farm. But both heroes have kill potential. So it might be, we might even see first part mid. Yeah, especially if a uh, rotation comes in. My nuts is around there. He does have a smoke. If needed, and, and but look at then you're already getting harassed so much by those uh, those static storms. Yeah, and they got their shake around there as well. It's pretty scary lane. This is a lane you could potentially see a Vortex early. Are you saving a skill? For a kill? But yeah. probably not. Probably not. I think Earthshaker has been spotted already. Dendi is playing so careful. I mean, it's daytime. Yeah. Even yeah. If oh, he yeah, actually, uh, he has a ward over there. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that is fairly obvious indeed. In the meantime, Sing Sing has been left alone, so DK Phob is actually having a, maybe a bit of a better time than we were expecting him to, because Dazzle is actually um, in the jungle with uh, the creep wave. Yeah, he made the first the first wave. He made sure the creep, the range creep died, so he fucked up oh, the creep. Oh, Dandy creep. might be in some trouble. There is no level in Vortex, but maybe oh, he'll missed. overcharge Suneko actually he coming it. in. He might have died. Yeah. Missed chance. 
And I, well, he might have died, but 1437 and Stoneco were pretty close by. In the meantime, DK Phobos has still got a charge if he wants to. We can just get out of yeah. there. He's not even going to use it. Never mind. Confidence is... Oh, actually, confidence might be slightly overconfident. Oh, and oh, his self got ticked off. Bible thump right there. Yeah, yeah. that's very sad. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're saying. Because he fucked up the creep equilibrium for Sing Song, they had to pull, and I made sure he got Lassus and, and experience. And now they're getting pushed because of that as well. It's really important. There's enough money to do that. Uh, he gets back, or at least rather, he doesn't back off it an, an, at all, but I mean, he burned through all his regen, it's it's almost time to get back, but perhaps he's gonna wait until that creep wave indeed is no longer pushing out, because, well, he's going back right now. He's missing quite a bit of an experience because of it, though. Yeah, uh, luckily it's not pushing into his tower, then yeah. you're sad. Then you are sad. Then the, in the meantime, 12 for 4, in terms of last hits, Necroman sitting on 13 for 3, so being kept very even. Well, on the offlane, we have got uh, Sokska sitting on level 3, 4 last hits. Magnus sitting on level 3, 7 last hits, slightly in favor of Navi's uh, in this case. But it's all being uh, kept fairly even. Even uh, Actually, Havos is 3 last hits ahead uh, compared to Sing Sing, who was forced to last hit under his tower quite a bit. Well, there you have it. Havos has played carry a lot. He's experienced. Yep. And the knight is soon going to start, that's when we're going to see if knights are going to kill mid, because they want to kill mid. Which is not going to be easy, because they know Earthshaker is sitting there. Yes, Minus is sacrificing a lot of levels to, to hang around mid this long, and actually this might be your uh, first blood scenario right here. It is night time, so Nego is planning on going in, Fisher going out, Dendi not in time right, to be that. there with the rest of his team, and the clap comes out. First blood goes away of the Brewmaster, offlane Brewmaster getting a lot of extra gold. On the way of burning United, and Dendi is not yet safe? Nah, now he is. No extra Fisher coming out for my nuts, no mana. Mm. Offlane are getting the first blood. That's the dream. The dream That's is the real. dream right there. Bit of bottled charge, maybe. No bottle? No. Oh, he was Probably hoping for a bottle, maybe. He's mana right next boots. The storm is gonna want all the rooms. Yeah, Fisher missed actually. That's maybe oh. that's maybe cause for a kill here. Necroman will end up dead. One for three seven coming doing? into this, and my nuts just hanging around without anything. <laughs> he didn't have a Fisher. He didn't have a totem for his extra pound right click. I, I, yeah, that was slightly questionable. Two kills okay. gone with Navi. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Very questionable. He was blocking the storm. I don't know what was happening there. That was some confusing stuff. Just hanging around. <laughs> yeah, that's... That is sad. More Bible thumps needed. Um, my nuts is, is stacking though. I mean, he might be able to share in the experience of that later on. So he can catch up a bit. DK Phobos might not have gotten the channel. last hit. I turn <laughs> all the sounds off. Swear to God. User but left your channel. Apparently it doesn't work for me. Um, but uh, yeah, we have got DK Phobos still doing okay-ish, maybe up until now, because Come With Me is coming in here and he's gonna harass DK Phobos out of the lane again, and making it more difficult for him to actually be in experience range at all. Yeah, he's still fine. It's against a dual lane. Usually when we play off lane and against a dual lane, you want to do more because there's only two heroes, but if you're too greedy against two heroes, you die. And they got pretty good kill potential in this lane, so you cannot... He's, he just has to play safe, get experience, play level than the brew. Well, same level but more experience. Well, they're gonna go for my nuts. He gets silenced up, and that's gonna be another kill. A bash coming oh. in. Lucky time for Dendi and the bash need on my nuts. Room. Yep. Once again. Well, in the meantime, Storm is seeming uh, to have a good day. He's getting all the farm in the jungle, or rather the stack that was there. So Earthshaker doesn't even get to share on that one. The experience there. He was just trying to get some experience mid, but wasn't even able to do that as Sing Sing once again harasses DK Phobos away, but he's almost level 5. That's nice. Only uh, 14 more minutes for him to get his blink dagger. This does have a high level as well. Level 5 already. Yeah, he took a lot of experience on lane, and, and he's constantly doing like the, the all the three, pull. the triple If pulls. you're a pro support, you can do this. If you're noob support, you can't do this. Oh my god, he I'm did a pro it. support. Oh. Alright. Uh, oh, Dondo. He Nick. knows. He knows. You should know. He's backing off. They saw him go invisible after all, so it's not that big of a surprise that he uh, stops by. 
And and while then he's actually leaving his lane, and we have got one for three seven, being there in his place to catch some of the extra farm coming in. And and Sorkska's here too. We couldn't get anything on top lane. There is a lot of under leveled people here in terms of off laners and supports. Apart from apart from come with me because he's doing fine. Mm. Are both the off laners level four. Oh, build. But yeah, Sing Song is going the stats build. I'm a bit unsure about this. I mean, people are doing it, so I guess there is some thought to it. Still not sure you should scale level 2 ult at 11, though. It seems it scales so badly. Oh, yeah, we'll see how he does. Level 8 soon around the corner, then we'll know for sure. In the meantime, uh, rotation coming towards the uh, middle lane. Also, a Vost actually leaving his lane, making sure that Night Stalker can get some farm on top. But, well, there was a Radiant Ward, just disappeared. I think 1437 should have seen that disappear. Mm. The killing stacks leaving the support to his farm. This is efficiency, the value, lead lane, and the support farm while farming jungle. They don't have the best junglers though, but fine. I mean, troll is good, obviously. Neither of the teams really have a great ancient farmer, so we don't see the stacks coming out there yet. Well, they got the bristle. Yeah, Should actually, stack. they do. Radiance they're lazy. Power. They're Sun staying in the top lane, so that no one can really stack. I guess the Magnus could probably... I mean, they've got Empower as well. I'm checking out. They're, they're warding it, even. So good. So smart. So smart. Well, the Dire Wards is uh, a bit more have a bit more coverage than the Radiant ones. In the meantime, push on the bottom lane, Sing Sing going for the tower, and he should be able oh. to get this. It's killed up again, a level two. Yep, no stats. Are you proud? Are you happy? Alright. Oh, Sing Sing. Be praised. Sing Sing be praised. Well, he got a got a tower for it as well, so instantly getting rewarded. It's karma right there. With this item build, he has non-stop mana and life seeds. He's gonna spam anyone Ooh, up. Ooh, Necroman jumping up Whoops. on DK Phobos. Was able to get the kill. Still getting silenced. 1437 <laughs> might be able to get a kill here. Uh, That's some casual it. flame right there. You kill someone and then you say he lags. Do you kill someone with lag? That's an insult. Yep. Oh, that was an insult. Well, Magnus did get a, get almost level 6, so something. Let's see, I think you should be able to get the skill with one more. Nope. Oh, he died. Well, Already? that seems to be a recurring theme for this storm. Yeah. He kills someone and then he dies. Every didn't, time. Didn't learn from the first game. Unfortunately. I, I think, um, level six. I think Sing Sing can, can maybe kill off Night Stalker. Ah, oh, he backs off. Never mind. Not able to do so anymore. Pretty squishy still. Uh, Phantom Ness if he dies. Well, they're gonna try to maybe go for my nuts right here. The slow is there, the silence is there as well. They need to dive the tower for this if they really want to. And uh, they're not gonna be able to, especially with the teleports coming out. Come with me, already slowing down. 1437 with the poison touch. Is there extra damage coming out? Yes, there's Whoa. a blink dagger coming out. All right. ten, 10 minute, minute blink dagger. dagger. First blood hero manages to make good use of his money there. That is pretty insane. I don't think that anybody of Navi was expecting that to come out this time. Yeah, where where is Magnus Stagger at? Yeah, I, I think he's slightly behind schedule for that one. He bought a one though. And yes. he didn't get first blood. And he had a hard lane. And he died. Bristleback is a pretty weak safe lane hero. For off lane it's at least it's not the worst one. Like this constant harass from Phantom Lesser. So frustrating. Yeah. Meantime, Troll taking um, jungle sacks, which is actually really nice because now already Burning United is getting used to see him missing on the map. So they won't be too surprised when he goes for Roshan, perhaps. Uh, we do have a smoke gun coming out from 1437 and Snako. They're rotating mid. And it's uh, uh, it's 4 p.m., so it's turning nighttime very soon. And yeah, there's an ult available as well. as well, yeah. Is that a kill? Oh, he killed himself. It is a kill indeed. Fisher still lands, but I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> Too late, Teep and Dazzle. He would have saved him there. Pretty sure he would have survived. With the grave. Yeah. Mana boots. With 
the tower down on bottom lane, actually. DK Phobos is getting a lot more farm than he did before. If he can keep his lane equilibrium right here, then he's actually really good for getting a blink dagger fairly soon. Yeah, it's really important to play off lane. You, you do not push lane now. You keep it here as long as you can. As important for the enemy support to realize this and pull back the wave. You cannot let it stay like this. It's so much value for him. Yep. And uh, there's no long, like, no pools happening just yet. Roshan check coming out because they know that Dendi is still missing, but he is happily uh, farming the jungle right now. That's troll for you. You have to check Roshan at minute 12. Volvo, please. Volvo, please. Well, DK Phobos getting some company perhaps? 1437? He has got a ward. He's probably just gonna make sure that something is extra safe. Dyer's middle tower is under I'm not sure what he's doing now. actually. We got the dagger on Brew now. So they, I mean, Navi knows that. So they probably do not want to fight her. Um, gonna let the tower fall, most likely. I mean, Magnus has, a, has an RP. So if they come too close, there could also always be a teleport in. To go for, like, if, if Birdie United jumps forward and actually uh, goes for it. We do have a teleport in. This is Bristleback. Fortification coming out as well. They're looking to deny, at least deny the tower. Havos turning his back Ooh. towards everybody with Birdie United, but it might not be enough. Tower still goes down to the Phantom Lands, and it looks like, oh, Fisher. Maybe Birdie United wants to go back in for him. Not just yet. One second before the Blink Dagger, Brewmaster's not gonna go for it. But Birdie United Radiant did get what they came for. The tower did not get denied. Yeah, that was hey, really good up. silences. They hey, were ready for that. Up. If they don't silence them, there, they lose one or two heroes at hey, least. Wake up. Hey, I, wake up. I need to um, leave the team speak because people are poking me. All right. Or at least if, it, if it happens again, then we're gonna go skip to switch to Skype again. So. Hmm. Well, maybe we can just change the server. Yeah, we'll change the server. That's fine too. All right. All right. So. So far, both teams seemingly pretty happy with the situation they're in, apart from maybe Navi getting a bit delayed on the, on maybe their their items. Maybe their fight times are slightly delayed, and maybe they can cancel. No, they can't. No cancel teleport. So, what's the next move that Navi makes? Are they actually waiting for the blink dagger to be done on DK Phobos, or can they actually fight now while it's still nighttime? Well, otherwise, they might have to wait until the next you nighttime. Joined your channel. Hmm. Well, they probably they definitely want dagger on Magnus for the fight, and well, they're gonna take the top tower. It seems, which. It's a little bit risky because they still have the dagger on Brewmaster. And they're not really showing on the map. They're probably going to defend this. They can't take bot tower in time. But yeah, they definitely want the Magnus dagger before they can really fight 5 on 5. So far, already going on the tower, but they might get punished for it. In comes the clap. Not split though, because he's Paris gets silenced straight away. Nice Fisher. Ooh. Maybe allowing for the split. The RP up on three, and that's going to be All making right. sure that Na'Vi wins that fight. They might have lost the support, but hell, that was worth killing Brewmaster before he could split. And Tower will go down with that as well. Who needs a Blink Dagger, right? Yeah, who needs it when you're Bobos? You just charge. You just charge. That's kind of like a Blink. You know, you charge. Almost like a Blink. Close enough. Wow, that silence was very important as well, though, for 1437. If that... Brew was able to split the fight, would have been entirely different. Fisher wasn't enough to delay that. Yeah, I'm talking about Fisher. This has happened. Maybe he. Maybe someone else needs to initiate something. Urshaker. This is a problem. But oh, Urshaker doesn't have. Doesn't have no. And it's gonna take a while before he does as well, because it seems like he is not the priority in terms of farm. Uh, Come with me actually has a bit more farm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just farming now. That should have given him quite a lot of gold, and he's almost got his item now. The dagger on Magnus. Yeah, Navi is gathering up together again. Might be wanting to look for a smoke. They have one. Had one. Used it. Yeah. I don't they think they're gonna go rush. They probably want to kill someone. Going rush with four heroes. Uh, well, they're doing it. Um, I mean, 
It is scouted out. Here comes the armor. Come with me. Might already be dead before the fight even starts, though. And indeed, he goes down. Bolt is up. The split, though, indeed. One, four, three, seven, first target. Looking to try and make away from this fight, but he is uh, he is actually just fine. He is golden. We have got the troll up in the air from the Brewmaster, delaying his presence in the fight, but he's still here with the Whirling Axes. Now going for my nuts. Couple of hits needed. In comes the RP. Hits up on Shock Sky. We're stunned for the moment. His Bruce Split is over, and he wasn't able to get too much out of it. And he'll end up going down if he's not careful. An extra Krill Spay will do the job. Sing Sing in this as well, though, but he's almost out of mana. Will get a kill on to the Magnus, though. But he is going to try to run afterwards, jumping to the high ground. The Vortex from Necroman at least stopping the chase from a Vos, but still four people died on the side of Burning United, and only one died on the side of Na'Vi. What went yeah, wrong there I for mean, Burning United? Like, what was the major problem there? Well, they have uh, the Bristleback with Crimson Guard. It, it saves so much, it saves so much uh, damage. Uh, but, I mean, just this long fight for, for Bristleback is so good, and I just want to point out that Phantom was a survive because he maxed W. <laughs> just saying. Just Pretty saying. Good skill. Oh, he's also the only one that survived. His yeah. Roshan will finally fall, Troll will get the Aegis, Na'Vi. All of a sudden, quite a bit ahead in this game, and... Indeed. Magnus almost has one and a half minute left to get like 250 gold. He has it before 20. Maybe. Unless I he's really unlucky. No, oh, Dandy's gonna give him. Dandy is a generous man. Is, is he? No. Dandy give Looks like DF DK Phobos is the most generous one. He gave the damage to the Dandy. But he's still gonna get it from the random gold, or rather the, the you know, like gener generic ticking gold. This Bristol back. It's a pretty. I mean, it's good against Brewmaster, but Brewmaster is good against him as well. Obviously, because you just psycho on him. Uh, but yeah, you can't really kill the Bristol with with Brewmaster. Ult, so that's. And as soon as he gets BKB, it's, it's just gonna wreak havoc this game. He might not even go BKB as well though. Well, actually, he will against Brew. He has to. Well, Dendi might be in a bit of a trouble there. He's gonna run into Necroman. Shokska is there as well. Can they actually do something? Shokska? Shokska! Hello! Shokska! Well, he's gonna split. They're just gonna go for this. Fisher up on Ooh. three, actually. Echo Slam on two, and one is already down. Dendi trying to run. Should be able to that, run or not. Never mind. He'll end up going down. Coming. He has an Aegis. Everybody's coming. Phobos gets RP up on two. Only, at least Sokska wasn't in there. He is gonna screw Sokska back towards the tower as Denny tries to do what he can. Grave comes out a bit early. Doesn't matter though, keeps my not safe for a little while longer. They will be able to get Dendi down though. 1437 and DK Phobos should be able to get out. Yeah, but the tower yeah. will still go down. Alright. Well, the boss was not there. You can no, no. cool down on TP. And uh, PU probably recognized that, and that's why they took that fight for so long. If the VT is in there, they lose. Yeah. Well, and they're actually trying to get the max of this. They also uh, end up farming the enemy jungle. Might try to go for DK Phobos. By the way, he did get his blink at 20 minutes, of course. DK but Phobos will die, though. I mean, he got his blink. That's nice enough, but, you know. He's dead. He is dead. Alright. This Night Stalker. Ogre at club. Usually you buy Aghanims as since this is port, but he can obviously go BKB. But I think he's still gonna go Aga. Well, maybe not, since he goes Ogre Club first. The middle. Yeah, my nuts is my some nuts. troubles. He will end up getting picked off there. Nuts has been dead. Yes. Paris is dead as well. Oh, it seems like it indeed. The Vos coming uh, team up with the uh, Seneco to get that one down. That's a uh, Bit more important kill, but both for the same team, so... Navi's back. Navi's back indeed. They are ahead in net worth. 3k only, not that by that much, but they still have some, or at least one tower to take out before the towers are even, so that's something. Experience graph? It's it's almost neglectable. It's like 4k in favor of Navi, but at this point it's not about levels, I believe. Unless we have some gigantic ultimates that are... Actually, level... 11 for both Earthshaker and Brewmaster is almost there, and that might be having a big impact. 
At least for the plan. Well, Earthshaker doesn't have his dagger, so... Soon! Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, things are going good for Navi right now. And having Magnus with the Empower, it's, it's gonna deal pretty good against the Illusions. I mean... Don't underestimate Bristleback right clicks, especially not with this this empower. He hits like a truck. No, he does it like a truck. What's he gonna build next, you think? Basher? Mm, probably BKB, just so he doesn't get lifted by the Brewmaster Cyclone. It's oh, pretty yeah. frustrating. He needs to be in the middle of the fight and stacking up quills. It's probably uh, something that Dandy wants to have as well, a BKB that is. Actually, no. Yeah, as an ultimate orb in his inventory. Hmm. Alright. And this storm did not go for silence this game. And Bloodstone instead. And it still really aren't that good silence targets. I mean, if you could silence the Magnus, that's pretty good, but... He's gonna sit in the fog and wait. So that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Navi also now farming uh, Radiant Jungle. It kinda shows that state this game is in right now we have got burning united kind of maybe scared to go out too far out of their uh or their safe zone i should say behind the tier two towers and navi kind of abusing that and taking the space for themselves to farm at choking burning united down perhaps if they can but sing sing still of course getting decent farm at what point do you think phantom lancer becomes really ready to start actually joining the team fights and looking for the fights rather. Actually, they might be looking for a fight right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's the one they want to do. Nope. Good play. Back off is better. Fisher on cooldown? Hmm. Oh yeah, Phantom Lesser. He needs at least Manta. That does quite a big difference, but the hero is not really strong until he gets hard, I think. Oh, they oh my, I bought him. Yeah, Necroman. Wow. In a scary position. They don't see him though. Tower is being sieged. There is no Sing Sing around just yet. If they want him, he needs to teleport in. Picks up a rune, still not planning on teleporting in for now. Oh, Storm showed himself in 1437 and zips away instantly. I would have gone for that. Uh, he would have probably get the, got the kill, but he would have probably also died for it as well. Uh, yeah, but that's what he does. And this Kappa. is true, but I'm not sure if that's <laughs> the right target to die for. Uh, he should not do it. This this mana burn on Phantom Nest is pretty good this game. Because both Troll and Bristle are slow mana. They kinda need their mana. He's still going for these towers. Sing Sing is still not joining. They can just give the tower away and basically... They can't fight. There's no way they win fights right now. Obviously well, if you're, if you're Navi, guns. don't you just want to initiate the fight at that point? Well, Especially you can, when you're invisible you can. and you're Magnus. There's a tower. They can, can initiate now. He can skewer that Paris. I should do it definitely. Oh, he's gonna RP him straight away. Not even, yeah, there's the skewer. Still the grave comes out. Perhaps that's gonna buy enough time for the split to come up. Fisher. Fisher helps a lot, but Brewmaster still went up going down. Echo Slam though might change this game. Suicide coming out from the storm. Magnus did die for that though, but it's a 2 for one Another win for Navi. I say 2 for one I mean, Storm did suicide, fair enough, but nonetheless, I still count that a win for Navi. <laughs> That could have gone a lot better for Navi. He could have just skewered it. He stood still for quite some time there with Brewmaster. He was probably not confident or just asking the team, should we go or not? But, would, yeah. If he was blinked and skewered back, would he still be in grave range of grave level 3? No, he uh, would not have been okay. ready for that. And he would have been in instant science and kill. And he could maybe even push high ground with that. Oh, double smoke. That's not how you smoke. Uh, they want a uh, ward, but... And one smoke already gone. Well. Well, they smoked for each one each, so... Yes. yes. Uh, oh. They want a ward with it, it seems. It's kind of yeah. weird smoke. Dendi, fairly aggressive here, but just gets fissured. Yeah, Scotty is what Dendi goes for. So Dendi's not going for a blink dagger this game. He think? will afterwards, I think. Or okay. BKB into dagger. I mean, you will eventually get dagger on troll. Okay. Not always, but... Usually, it's, it's just such a good item, dagger. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mm. Well, so far, it seems like Burning United fighting from, from behind is, is not really their comfort zone. They still have Sing Sing farming, but the rest of the farm kind of kind of slowed down quite a bit. We have got Brewmaster still only with a Blink Dagger that he got at 10 minutes. Oh, 
Okay. And Come with me, he's stuck in the I, trees. He just wanted to ward. He's gonna uh, get RP'd. Okay. He will he will go down for that. But he I mean RP on cooldown, you know? It doesn't matter though. That's at least on cooldown, so Yeah. This is true. <laughs> but yeah, he, they didn't need to sit there, but he's supposed to interrupt, so but Yeah. It's still fine. It's still fine. They're gonna go Roche now. That's what they're waiting for. And they it's can't up. really contest. But they're just waiting for Sing Sing to farm and get his heart out as he's now. Which probably will not matter because they got Empower on their two cores who will just kill him. And they RP. But they got a really good team fight. And the Brewmaster's impact is kind of falling off now. Like the damage from Brewmaster is not going to have much impact. So he, all the Brewmaster is going to do is send someone up. Which is still good, but. It's really off. Oh, that's another Aegis going away of Na'Vi, so... There's the Scatty, and we have another thousand gold. Still a bit scary to push high ground, but Na'Vi's still probably gonna do it. I mean, they got a decent way to try and, and blink and screw people uh, out of the base. I say that, and we just saw that he was not really able to do that. All oh, right. Echo Slams, I hear that one. 1437 is uh, looking to die here. He'll die for it though. Uh, a six, he actually got the kill and indeed my nuts will go down for to Dendi who well, now was on a killing Storm spree. Storm survives with 1hp. Oh. Yes, jumps away. Well, if you had RP there, that's uh. all I'm saying. Yeah, might have gotten a kill. So Neko's still in the hunt though, it's night time. His ultimate is actually nice. on, so less vision. I for come with me who will Probably go down, slow down, silenced, and a dead he will be very soon. And he's going for Daga with the gem. You can clear all the, the vision, and it's so good. Yeah, so just, uh, good. Walking radar, basically. I'm probably gonna go high ground now, though. They're pretty low on mana, though. Well, Sing Sing does not have his next big item. Might just want to have buyback just in case they won't be able to make it in this fight. He's sending courier, though. I don't think he can afford to buy back in a game like this. Mm, well, Courier is also being sent back, so I'm not sure. That damage. Going high ground, seeing if they can make something happen. They can maybe bait someone. That's Manta used already. More illusions created. In comes a long storm zip. <laughs> no mana. Harassment. Bristol, they can't have the back. They can't fight anymore. Well, that's what illusions are good for, I guess. They did get the tower. It's a slow push. They got something for it. They might still yeah. also go for the other tier two towers. I mean, they got Aegis, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they, they still do. They're gonna keep pushing now. Keep the enemy in the base. Basically, only letting Phantom Master farm. He's going to boost the travel. All right, he's going red mode. He kind of has to, right? I mean, they can't like fight. It. We already decided that. So it's the only way that they can actually do something. And maybe if he's maybe he can't even red to the high ground, but at least he can try and force them back. Delay the pushes by more time for himself because apparently yeah. his team can't buy enough time for him. Yeah, they got a nerve shaker which delays the pushes quite a lot. So, because they got double melee who wants to hit the tower, True. and they can't really do that against nerve shaker. Obviously, the troll can be range, but it's less damage and mischance. But okay, so they want to fight now. Why you boost the travel and go fight? It makes sense. Makes sense. The Vost might not be the best target to go on though. Waiting for someone else, perhaps. This might not be the fight they're going for, because everybody of Na'Vi they is here. They cannot win this fight. They cannot. There's no way. They kind of don't see Phobos and Soneko, though. They have to assume that they're there, because there's nobody are nowhere else on the map. There's mana, please! <laughs> there's no mana! Almost burned out of mana. Oh my god. That's something. Fisher coming out. It's only up on Dendi, though. This harassment. Still waiting for maybe Sokka to jump in at some point. Uh, even my totally zoomed out camera is not big enough to see everybody here as the Vos mana is still, you know, mm. rip. Slowly but steadily, that's the real one right there. Vos, slow down. Nice Fisher also hits up on Soneko. It's just, just still harassment though. Kind of a problem with not having mana on Bristol. It looks like it's enough to slow the push enough down to that they can't even get the tower. They just have to back off completely. BKB, alright. Probably wishes he has a dagger. If he has a dagger, he just initiates yeah. with Aegis. Maybe uh, next but now with BKB. Now he has no good D, uh, Cyclone targets in Brewmaster anymore. So he's kind of useless right now in the team fights. 
until the BKB goes out. In the meantime, Storm's farming on top, or at least pushing the wave out. He's on six Bloodstone charges. And Wow. How how early did he get that Bloodstone? Because since then, all he got was another another Oblivion staff, which... I think know. it was around 20 minutes. Uh, it's 22, it's I'm not sure. sure. I mean, the same thing goes for Brew. 10 minutes Blink Dagger, and then, you know, 20 minutes later, only an Ogre Club and a Cloak to show for. Of course, also the Treads, which he did get afterwards. Yeah, I mean, they don't have places to farm. No. Because of Navi just taking all their jungle, pressuring and being ahead, this is what happens. If you play properly. I mean, it's only really Phantom Nest that farms yeah. good. But he, they, they have to have him farm good. I mean, if there is a place to farm, Sing Sing will try and get it because he has got the highest priority right now. He's the one that can bring everything back in favor of Burning United. But it's still going to be a, a long road ahead for them, for sure. Well, they definitely want to use this. Oh, all right, Aegis ran out, actually. They did not use it then. Nope. Are they going to wait for the next farming. one? Well, probably. I don't think they're going to fight. I didn't even want to fight with the Aegis. They might do a smoke gank, though. It looks like... Nope. Nope, no smoke. Nope. They just grouped Ooh. up just to say hi they're to wrong. each other. Rod of Eidos. Rod of Aoi. Rod of AUI 2000. Indeed. AUI? A Aoi. In an interview he said AUI. AUI. But it's That's Aoi. You can call him Aoi, I'm sure. He finds that okay, too. He's, he's, uh, you know, he's a nice person. Uh, he's pretty mean and angry. I've seen his videos. Oh yeah? Because he's mean and angry in his videos. I'm scared. Why? Of him? He knows karate. Oh. Are you scared of everybody that knows karate? Yes. I am. I think there's a lot of people that know karate. Are you afraid to walk down the street now? What if, I tell you, what if I told you that, you know, the person where you always do your shopping, the person behind uh, the desk, behind the counter, knows karate? I'm not scared. <clears throat> okay, good. I lied. I fixed that then. Thank Problem you. Problem fixer. You're getting a tower. Yahoo! <laughs> Look at all the effort going into that one. <laughs> well, it's, right. I mean, it's good gold. Gold for everybody, right? Now he seems to be fine just farming here. Look at the late game. Who has the better late game? Well, Magnus late game is really good. Brewmaster late late game is not that good. Well, it's pretty good. I mean, he is. You say late game, and we're 35 minutes in, but he's still level 12. Let's like, let's see yeah. if he can get to level 16 first. That will be a, a good benchmark for him to to hit. Yeah, he only offers control in the team fight switch. It's good, especially when you have a Phantom Master. What is he buying? He should buy a heart, I think. I mean, how much health does he have? He has 1400 health. He wants a heart. Yeah, he does. He wants farm too, first. But yeah, I don't think there's any clear team that has better late game. Obviously, now there's more farms, so they're a little bit favored. Uh, with them power, and both their cores are super good. But Phantom Lancer is pretty good and pretty annoying. Is he enough, though? I, I like I'm I'm still worried for Burning United. Obviously they are still on the the team that is um not on the winning side, let's put it that way. By the way, what do you think Come With Me is doing there? He's been standing there for actually probably about three minutes already. Maybe it's not that long. Three minutes? Four maybe. Maybe he's just well, trying he's to kill the waves and making sure that the lanes are not pushing in. Mm. So <laughs> he walks away now, gets pinged down. Well, in the meantime, there's three people of Burning United in the jungle, and it looks like one is about to get scouted. Oh, Bow boss is oh, there. Let's go. Let's go. No, hesitating too long, and that will be allowing him to get out. Radiant Scurrier does end up going down. Fishers. Yeah. My Nuts is in some trouble. for stabbing to the high ground. Has not got a teleport scroll. Oh, My Nuts stuck on the cliff. Ah, he's okay. He can blink away. Oh, jeez. There he goes. Hmm. Do you feel like right. they gave Phobos if he was, wasn't was as hesitant as he was, he might have been able to kill the storm? They might have been able to kill the well, storm. Well, they saw the they saw bottom. Yeah. And everyone in Navi's team was around. But, yeah, he should have tried for that. But he's just playing it safe. He's going to refresh her, which he has soon. It's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. 
Right. Roche, you're just waiting for Roche now? Yeah, it's the pretty late, Roche. Control. One minute and uh, like 50 seconds yeah. or so to go. Come with me, it's gonna get abandoned soon. He's just staying in the trees here. <laughs> Not getting any experience. Rip. Well, in the meantime, Dendi at least stopping the split push that's happening. All the outer towers are down on the side of Navi, so that's a great step towards getting split push. Hello! That's a long zip up on DK Phobos. He might actually die from oh. this one in. Oh Skewer, you fool! God. He doesn't need Skewer, he's fine. He was never worried. He can just get away. He can just walk away. In the meantime, mid lane, more aggression coming out. The split coming out as well. A Vos turns on his BKB and runs away from this one. Where is it? Oh, the split on cooldown, though. Can they actually. Can Navi actually do something? I doubt that. Oh. oh. They're still going for him, actually. Fisher coming out as well. No Romana for a Vos. No damage. Taking no, taking no damage. No it's <laughs> actually not taking damage. <laughs> not taking any damage maybe him. maybe Necroman. No, he's out of mana because the zip was too long and he used too much mana top lane. <laughs> All wow. right. Okay, but it looks like Birdie United. They they went for two initiations and very very close time space and maybe that kind of says something about them losing their patience. Well, like it was pretty good decisions as well. I mean, they could have killed Magnus. Yeah. And they were not really in danger. We didn't they knew the Magnus was running back, so they could go mid at the same time. Yeah, true. Well unfortunately they couldn't kill <laughs> They couldn't kill the bristleback. I mean Yeah, he actually takes no damage when he has Crimson Guard on against illusions with no mana. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be a problem. The only real person that can do damage is Zing Sing and, and he knows it too, so he skipped the heart. He's gonna go for a right. butterfly. Going more damage. It's Gives survivability as well. I guess so. Going for Roche now. Well, Roche going uh, the way of Navi. Again, surprised. But this time also cheese. Yeah, now they probably wants to go high ground here. Well, at least at now least when a Vos is out of mana, he can actually use the cheese. I mean. Yeah, it doesn't cost any mana either to use it. Luckily. Sure. Luckily. The solution is taking all his mana. Oh, he kills him really fast now. Yeah. Well, Earthshaker. Oh, I'm oh not... Earthshaker. The uh, vision. Yeah, they have Ooh, vision. He is, is um, in a lot of trouble right here. <laughs> I'd say he's dead. Can't get away from that one. He dies. Bottom, oh, meanwhile, then the rat. Yeah, then the like rat it. is real. They're everywhere in mid lane as well. They uh, got Sing Sing down to about 250 health. And with they, I actually mean just Bristleback. Bristleback is no mana again. Nope. Doesn't matter though, he's still continuing on. He has the help of Dendi right now as well, who just goes on the tower. He stopped his assault on the rack's bottom. Vortex coming up on Bristleback. He has still got the cheese. He will be used, forced to use it very soon though. Nice bash! Up on the oh. Brewmaster. He still has his plate, but he's bashed! Maybe the Grave will allow him time for this, but he gets it off just in time! Can they actually do enough damage though? Can oh he control God. enough? The BKB is still on for Dendi. There goes the cheese. And that's Bristleback. All his illusions <laughs> gone. And he's trying to make it back to base. That is something at least. Sing Sing getting some extra armor. Might be needing to fight for us soon. In the meantime, Where bottom is lane is soon pushing in as well. Jumping in and out. Actually, bottom lane is pushing out. Good thing for Bernie United. D Dendi, by the way, still hitting towers. Still has the ages. Well, Jesus is already gone. Well, Magnus wanted to get his refresher. If he was there at any point, I'm not sure what he was doing. Maybe he had a no mana or something. Yeah. Well, he's he back now. Go now. His uh, illusions are being problematic. Now I he's mean, got his butterfly. The splits on cooldown, but they still have an echo slam, right? So, not. I don't know. I feel like that was a big fight and for nothing. Well, they got the tower almost down, which Dendi will get really easy. I would rat bottom now if I was Dendi. That's all I'm saying. He's doing well, it. He's almost doing uh, it. Soon. I would he needs his team to uh, deflect attention away from his lane so he can actually go. But no, it looks like they're gonna go back. Ooh. Oh, the jip. Wow. I'm not sure why he would do that since they still have an Aegis. Like, that would have been a risky fight to take if, they, if he actually caught him with a Vortex. Oh. They Indeed. just wanted the Aegis. They would never plan on killing him twice there. No, it could be. Well, they can't do that. Alright, they're defending now. And how long is this Aegis? They probably definitely should fight with this. Now they don't have any towers, mid or top. So if they win a fight, they take both of those sides yeah. super fast. Oh. Oh. Oh? Well. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay. They need him. Oh, that reminds me. Left-handed players. Wagamama is left-handed. A <laughs> place with he a right-handed man. Right-handed yeah. mouse. Well. Yeah. Which team does he play for? Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did play. Nonetheless, he's a uh, 7k MMR. How much MMR do you have? <laughs> I could have 8k if I wanted to. Don't you want to? No. Wow. Why not? I don't. I'm not a show off. Sure. Not a show off. Mhm. Mm well. Mm. All right then. Talk again when you get seven KMMR. And you're left-handed. Try playing with your left hand and then. I will play with my left hand then. Okay. Good. Actually, that's I not will. what Waka does either. So no, it's okay. Hmm. All right. Like, I believe you. 8k. 8k more One incoming. Day. Well, so far, obviously Navi is still in the lead for this game quite heavily. And if they push high ground this time, I mean, only one fight away from what could be winning. How do you think Burning United should, should do this? I mean, obviously, they're doing a great job already with trying to delay the pushes and trying to burn mana whenever they can. And split pushing, is that all they can do? Is there something they can they can try here? Well, they tried for the pickoffs before. I mean, Storm can get pickoffs. He's pretty strong now. He can kill anyone but Troll or Bristleback. And, well, he could try to go top now, which he might do. But yeah, they're probably just waiting for the... I mean, they're just waiting, farming, hoping that PL can win this game late game. And he is a pretty beast late game. Really strong late game. And uh, I'd be a bit surprised if he doesn't go hard now. Maybe he goes Scud on this hero. Hmm. Well, he's completely out of gold for now, so we'll take some time. Okay, and I actually, if they, if they can defend for another two minutes, then uh, the age disappears. The cheese is already gone. They can, they can do this. They probably Navi will probably wait for another Roshan if that happens. You think if they, you think they will if they don't have an Aegis, You think they won't go, try to fight? Uh, they're not gonna go without Aegis. No way. No way. Maybe, maybe they do smoke gank. No, it's pretty pointless. If you pick someone up with smoke, that person probably has buyback. And you don't know if he has buyback or not, so it's too risky anyway going high ground. Okay. So, maybe some vision gonna, of the high ground. They have to nice. use this, I guess. How long, are you, how long is it? It's been three minutes. It's two more minutes. Yes. Should be enough time to push out the lanes and go. Yeah, but I like they've been there before and they backed off and they have like yeah. half mana on the bristle back. Well, they got the towers. Maybe they get the rain tracks. So they could just teleport up top to defend there. <laughs> he can't. No. No, I don't know. Back soon. Doesn't have a teleport scroll oh. either anymore. He used it. What the hell? <laughs> How sly. Yeah, they were in a team together at some point. It's nice. Mouse sports. Lad? Who says lad? Apparently, Tiban does. What does it mean, though? It means like a different word for, for guy or dude or boy. Alright. Well, how's life, Shaver? Life's okay. Thanks for asking. How's your life? It's good, lad. That, you can't say that to me. I just said what it stood for. If you would say that to me, you would say lass. No. Good lass. There's no word as lass. There is. It's Irish. <laughs> good well, lass. I'm speaking in English. Kind of. Well, then, then lad is still for a guy. Is it though? Yeah. I just told you it was. I think so anyways. Yeah, you don't Obviously, know Obviously, sure. well, I know it for sure, almost. Alright. What do you think Troll's gonna buy next, by the way? Sitting on 4k gold. Obviously, he still has the Aegis, so might want to wait until that disappears first. But is it well, Boots of Travel having... time? Well, you can buy Boots of Travel, for sure, but he's gonna buy Satanic. Pretty sure it's the last item you buy on this hero in this situation. He even has the Morbid Mask somewhere. No, did he, he did sell it? I think he sold it. It's not on the courier, and it's not in his stash, and it's not All on right. the floor. 
I think. Right, then they lost. Well, they he can he can buy it again. I lost almost six stacks. Well, he is kind of. He's got six items. So. Abyssal blade, put to travel, done. Yeah. Maybe just switch out crimson. For what? What would you switch it out for? Hmm. Maybe heart or Scotty. Scotty, maybe even. Or even butterfly, so the illusions miss you. Because this mana problem he has is. It matters quite a lot. He needs to use his spells. Yeah. Even though the spells are not that strong, it's, he needs a buff from them. He needs a warpath stacks. True. Five warpath, 150 damage. But that's why he got the BKB, right? So now he's got nine seconds yeah. before he's out of mana. The problem is, B, you are not fighting them. They're just slowly. Throwing lances, Manta style, draining his mana, then he has zero. He can't really BKB. Unless he just want to BKB for the Rax and run back. To be honest, I wouldn't mind them seeing do that. I wouldn't mind yeah. seeing them do that. <laughs> English hard. <laughs> well, they don't have Glyph. This is the time. They're all just standing still, I don't understand. This is the moment. Well, they have an Aegis still for two minutes, so... Well, they, they stand still because the game is paused, so that's, you know, good enough reason for that, but... I mean... Mm. Yeah. I think I think they can go, but then again, I mean... They were in this position before where I think both of us thought that they could try to go high ground, and they were still hesitant to, to go, and they... Ended up not going because they were too hesitant, and then. Oh. Well, the question is can Phantom Lancer win late game against Troll and Bristleback? If he splits push, split pushes, then yes. I'm, I I really am not sure if he can do enough damage during a fight because I, I have my doubts on that, even with a heart. Yeah. But the Nice Dog kind of falls off. He's pretty useless late game. Uh, his vision, vision is going to be insane, though. Then that's such well, yeah. a big factor. Well, it depends if they're defending base or not. Assuming high ground. Going high ground. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how much of an impact it has. It's really good for dewardering right now. Well, but obviously it's great if, if he gives vision for Magnus to get a good RP2 man RP yeah. is enough. Yeah. That's what I mean. But, yeah. Then he has to go into pretty close to the towers. Then he can die. Phantom Lancer throw one as he dies instantly. Yeah, they also have Sky Rats who kind of falls off quite a lot as a support. Dazzle is pretty. Eh, he's pretty. He's he's got Agus even. That's he's pretty pretty damn good late game. And Nerf Shaker is obviously also very good. In terms of support, BU has much better, I would say. Well. The only thing they lack still, in my opinion, is, is maybe right click. Actually, that reminds me of a Brewmaster game I saw at some point where Brewmaster was like... Basically, him in normal form was more powerful than him in split form because he was right clicking so hard. He could do that, but the downside is he's not mm. getting farm because everything <laughs> goes to Sing Sing. And that will still continue on until he has his heart. Well, at even then, he's not going to have many places to go and farm. Not mm. safely, at least. How late does this game have to go, you think, before Burning United can safely farm? Well, it, hmm. well, it depends on team fights, really. If it keeps going like this, nothing is going to change. But you can't go out and farm, really, except Phantom Lesser and Storm if he sees Magnus. Uh, yeah, they need to win team fights, and this Brewmaster is never going to get farmed this game. What Doesn't is matter. That? He needs Vlads, which they already have. Uh, you can't leave Vlads and AC on this hero, and that's two items he's never going to farm. Time to be able to man fight. Well, even then, he's going to get wrecked so hard. Like these two cores with Empower, they cleave and they kill him. And they cleave. Yeah, they do. I even saw the mid fight. The Fire Panda died in two attacks from Bristol. <laughs> that was pretty sad. But at least he was able to tornado people. I mean, yeah, that's useful. Troll once. Yeah, it's good. Then that's he runs he away. Yeah. Do you think mm -hmm. a different hero would have been like making a world of difference in this game for for BU United, uh, Burning, uh, Burden United, if they uh, if they get a different hero instead of a Brewmaster, would have been a big difference. Well, I think the Brewmaster worked 
kind of good early game. I mean, he got super early dagger. Yeah, 10 minute black dagger. Both the next team fights, he instantly got silenced. Those two things didn't happen. Those two silences, that could have changed how the team or the game is being played. But they they picked the brewmaster into the skywrath, right? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, Magnus. Yeah, they did. It was the last pick for for them, and so so they should have been aware that something like that would happen. Maybe they were expecting still Storm to do better and, and having an Orchid faster or whatever and then getting the Orchid up on Skyrath Mage in time? Not really the target you want to mm. silence most though, I guess. Well, sometimes maybe you just stomp with Brew. Yeah. In the sh oh, fog even. That works. Just run in with the with Brewmasters. Uh, but yeah, sad game. I've lost. I think he died. Well, in At least his internet died. Not quite sure if he died with it, but, you know, close enough. What do you think about Havost? You think he's a good player? I think he's a good player. What about, what do you think about my nuts? You think he's a good player? I think he's a good player too. Alright, that's all I wanted to ask. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. okay. Well, who do you think has played best in this game? Well, that's a difficult question. Um, actually, I would actually say uh, Seneco has been having a pretty good game. Mm, on, Seneco. On this Night Stalker, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been really any outstanding performance this game. People have been playing good overall. It was just solid, solid play for most people. I mean, I, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought um, last game when we saw Necroman run in every time and then die for a kill, that that was basically maybe because of all the pauses or maybe because he was like on tilt or whatever, um, or maybe overconfident or maybe extra creating extra space for his troll at that point. So I thought he wasn't going to be doing that that much this game, but he's still been dying more than I was expecting him to. But that's the maybe storm? the only thing that, yeah, that's maybe the only thing that I'm maybe slightly disappointed with. The rest has been just playing solid. But still, I mean, every time he died, he did, it did mean something most of the times he died. He did get something in return for it. Yeah. But, I mean, in at some point game. you have to try to get the kills without dying, right? For it. Yeah. Capasa. Good old. In case you don't know, that is uh, that is Spanish for what's going on. Past time. Past time already expired. <laughs> we can wait more if BU agrees. Once again. Of course. In the hands of the players. Nice. I like that rule. The pressure. You need to be fired right now. Or rather, wow. whomever makes the rules. Maybe the rules need to be changed. I would say firing might be slightly, slightly overreacting considering he probably doesn't even get paid to do this who the admin omicron Om omicron i think so is it omicron or omicron I... omicron it's only one m omicron omicron yes omicron no it's omicron i think it sounds cooler it does sound cooler, but it's Omicron. Que pasa? Que pasa? Pastarino. There's gonna be a riot in chat soon, it's starting. It's already happening, I think. <laughs> the riot will begin. He's rebooting his router. His potato. It's probably a potato, because generally when I reboot my router, it goes a bit faster than that, you know? Yeah. Well, takes time. Your computer might be slow. You know, true. not everyone has an SSD. This is true. The if best thing you change in a computer is an SSD. I agree. I have three SSDs actually. It's a bit overkill. Well, excuse me. <laughs> is it fancy pants? It's because when they just came out, I got one and it was super expensive and it was 64 gigabyte, which at that point was the biggest you could get. And then, you know, it was only 64 gigabytes, so I bought a new one at some point that was a bit bigger, but then it was still too small. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, right. I, I just opened shut up for a lot of lot of funny jokes, but yeah, I have three SSDs. It's about, All right. It's about solid state drives, guys. Solid state drives. Yeah. They make solid. your computer super fast as long as you don't put too many documents and pictures on them, and mostly use it for yeah. programs. You're good. All right, is that true? That is true. All right. It's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, it runs programs real fast, but the aging increases. The aging speed increases if you put loads of like documents and photos and stuff on it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, wh why do you have three then? What happened to the last one? Oh, because I got more and more Steam games. I needed more space. Wow. Well, don't you uninstall them? I do. I do uninstall them. But well, I also might. Enough with 500 gigabytes. Oh well. Yeah, but my my two hundred even. I I think I have, I don't know what I have anymore actually. Well, I have two hundred fifty, and it's more than enough. Well, I have my my SSD or my HDD is is like not as big, so I have I'm I'm making up for space. For that, so. All there right. You have it. Well, you have a normal one as well, don't you? Yeah, but it's it's stupid. At some point, I use like a program to split it in half. Because that was, like, I don't know why I did that, but it was needed for something. So I virtually split it in half. So I got one that's actually two. But at the moment mm. I have... I can tell you. It is... Okay, I can't tell you. Oh, yeah, I have a 250 gigabyte on my HDD. And the rest is SSDs. Mm. I got did you build your computer yourself? Yes. You're one of those smart depends. Oh, it, actually, the first time I did that, I actually thought I wasn't going to be able to. But then I did it, and it tur didn't, turned out it wasn't that difficult. And then I did it again, and oh, then it was like, yeah. oh, I can do this. And then it booted yeah. up on the first try when I did that. It was really nice. All right. It's a well, good feeling. It takes feeling. time. It does. Well, at least the first time. Yeah, it does. When All building right, a PC. All right then, did you build your PC yourself? <laughs> well, one I did, but then I didn't because it's you just buy a PC. Yeah, well, but generally, like, uh, if you want a better PC, like you replace parts, right? Well, you can still do that manually. True, but aren't generally PCs that you build yourself? Can you not build better PCs than the one that ones that you can pre-buy, pre-made buy? Well, it shouldn't matter, should it? You just swap out pieces. Yeah, but then you do the same thing. Then you basically buy a PC and you replace some pieces. Yeah, but it does. And then, then you have pe like then you bought stuff that you didn't need. Well, you just buy a PC if you're lazy. That's how it works. Okay, I, I I'll accept that one. It's actually not more expensive as I used to think, most of the times, depending on where you buy. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stores where you can just. Like list what you want to have, and they put it together for you. That can, you know, you can do that. Yeah, but it costs money. But I assemble it for you. What is happening? Oh. Ready? All right, we're praying. <laughs> well, he was rebooting his router. About goddamn time. It might be postponed, but no. maybe not. Well. Okay, so we talked about this in the previous game, but if they're continuing four, who's microing the vote? <laughs> yes. If they continue is four. Well, Bristleback is pretty easy to control. Well, maybe not actually. I think it would be Snake or Sky Retta does it. Looks like it's 40, 1437. Yeah, I would, I would definitely say Navi was in favor, but now, now the game gets hard. Hey, say the vice on the troll. And of Vlad's on the um, Night Stalker, so they'll have the life seal a bit there. Who has it? The Vlad's is on the Night Stalker. Nice, nice lah. And the Scythe of Ice is still in the inventory of uh, of Troll. He probably then he's probably waiting until his uh, Ooh, Aegis is gone. Ooh, the hex! All right, so this is now they're probably a bit frustrated, so they're gonna go for this, and it might fail. And if it fails, they probably lose. Yeah, and they probably will call it. I mean, at this point. You well, have to sure be like really annoyed. It, but well, I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
I mean, it was hard already pushing when he was controlling it himself. Yeah. They're actually now not they're gonna do it anymore. The raw Aegis will run out. So they're not gonna fight. They got half a Rex. That's something. Right? Silver linings! <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's still... It's, it's a shitty situation to User be in. User joined your channel. Why can't you drop Aegis? It makes me User angry. Left your channel. Well... He, he doesn't want it anymore. He wants the Hex. Well, it's soon. It will go away very soon. It will go away like in 30 seconds. Well, maybe you should be able to drop it, but not give it away. He's look at this. He's AFK now. Yep. Alright. Well observed. The zombie's going BKB. He's probably not gonna fight for Aegis again. I think B is gonna force it though now. Now that Aegis is running out, do they have cheese still? Cheese Arena? No, I think they There's already There's no used... Cheese Arena. They already How did used they that. Use it? Um, maybe it was mid actually. It's been so long I've forgotten. Yeah, likewise. We had uh, quite long breaks. Actually, yeah. Well. More runes. I guess, I mean, is, is it right now for Navi playing with one man down? Are you still waiting for the ages or are you just gonna gonna go? Look, I mean, they're drawing hmm. on the minimap. Seeing uh, like yeah. they just well, want to go. They're slowing down my nuts at least, but the fisher is on point. There are four people. They just oh. Oh. Hello, Dendy got mad for a bit the there. Counter. The counter is there. It There's is a the slow counter. as well. The what? grave is not going to help. That's at least one down. Dominating Troll Warlord. Well, are they going to lose 4 and 5? It's not embarrassing. I don't think so. Not at this. Well. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. And no buyback though. He doesn't have that. He needs 93 gold. It's so close yet so far. So close. But so far. No oh, jumping in, Seneko. That's all his mana. Now you go for Rex. Go run in. Then they. Minus armor though. Minus armor though. Illusions burning oh. all the mana of someone else. It's slow. More illusions. Happening. Well, there he goes. Is go. he going oh, high ground? He still has that hex. The vision reduced now. Yeah, nice stalker doing his nice stalker things. In comes a zip in, zip out, just harassment, That's a vost. Again, half his mana. Alright. Or the non vost. Uh, why are they We're focusing? The Rex, why do you feel like they're focusing oh. on that, Rex? Uh, I guess I can get it too. They can just go for both, apparently. BKB on the Vost. He's going for the Lusions, not getting more mana burned. They're just gonna go for the Rex and back off. I mean... Oh. Why can't? That's why couldn't they do this 10 minutes ago? Well, because they picked up the Earthshaker. True. I guess. I guess that's... Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll allow that explanation. The Earthshaker was back, back at some point. Thank you. Right now, they probably <laughs> wait for Roche, though. No, they're happy with that. They wait for Roche, kill Roche. I uh, wonder if Tendi will take anything since he's stacked. Probably not. Alright, they're going again. They don't care about it, Roche. They don't care. I th the drawing is being made. I think at this point, like, are, are you like the a team like that's fed up just wants to have it end? I don't know how much impact it has as a player to play with for or have Only like probably. an evening like this. I mean, basically. We're here for three hours for two games, right? Yeah, I mean, the game is pointless for them in terms of standings as well. Yeah. And if you will... I don't know how much of a... Oh, well, maybe it's a moral victory, winning four versus five. Then they're oh. back, for real. <clears throat> it's true. Or would they be, because they they can even win without a boss, you know? What are you saying? Without, Did you kick him? Without fan score? Well, is this Navi even playing? There's only Dendi left. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's we have. Well, DK Phobos is Navi, you know. Well, for one day. And and Soneko oh. is their official stand-in for games, since they have a four-man. Well, they have a four-man roster, and and to be playing in most tournaments, you have to have five players selected, so or you know signed up. So he's right. their official stand-in. Well, they're gonna go there for this go. one. Vortex up on Dendi. He okay. is getting echo slammed. He can't do anything. He'll end up going down. There he goes, dominating streak down a drain. 
DK Phobos trying to get away, still gets an RP off, but he's gonna be... Oh, getting a second RP off, first having forward, and maybe, nope, Fisher coming out. That's gonna be another person dead. Suneko getting stopped in the meantime, someone is controlling a Vos, and he's trying to get him out of there, but he can't do that either. Sing Sing unstoppable, and that's the kind of defense that Bird and United, <sighs> they can do that well, all the time. Well, well, well. Who well, has well. silence? Was it the storm that silenced the I Magnus? So. Really important. Yeah, as soon as he went in, he got instantly silenced, so he couldn't RP, which meant then they died. And that's... He needs PKB. Maybe he should not have gone Refresh Orb. Yeah, well, it's not that bad. They're not gonna get right from this, I don't think. Can you buy back on someone that's disconnected? I don't think so. No, you can't. You can't buy items either. You can't buy back, you can't buy items. And you don't get his gold even. Mm, at the moment they're not. Maybe after you five minutes. Actually, I'm not, not sure how that goes in a lobby game. You don't get a banner anymore, I'm pretty sure. No, but even after five minutes, does the does the gold thing still work? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I... Like, it could be. But I don't know. I'm not an expert mm -hmm. on that. Alright, now they're getting Roche. This is generally why you don't push when Roche is up. Because you push, and if it fails, enemy team wins the fight while as well getting Roche on. And this is just the part of being frustrated. If they were calm and collected, they would wait for Roche. But since all the pause and the disconnects, yeah. they just wanted to go. I'm pretty sure that's, that's a high factor. Because well, now they definitely can't push. There's no way to push now. Oh, actually, Necroman jumping forward, going for 1 for 3 7, is getting Hex though, Ooh. and Dendi is there doing the damage, and that's an Agent right. already gone. Whoa, Mystic Flare, slightly. slightly yes. mistimed. And I think uh, 1 for 3 7 still down. Purge coming out from the Diffusal Blade, of course. Well, it's good when someone dies, because then they can control Bristleback. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Silver lining, silver lining. Well, Skybreath Mage is not a big enough target to actually Top. go high ground from. The damage is. Oh my oh, god, okay. that damage. DK Phobos. That was. Sad Panda. Crazy. And he cannot buy back. He, he bought out on his Mithra Hammer before he died. Yeah, well, they don't know that. They can try to There's force no out a buy back. Yeah, they got cheese still. Like, what can he do if Phantom Lesser hits the tower? Nothing really, I don't think. There's no way they burst him. Before cheese. Because they also got the Dazzle. Alright, here we go. I have a 16 Dazzle. That ult is good now. Really good. Yeah, he's the dumbest team. The armor. Oh my god. Ticking in. Going high ground. Let's Let see what they see. can do. Still, at least DK Phobos is dead, so he can use a Vos. What? Necroman What's jumping in, Vortex up on Dendi. Still has his BKB and his Hex as well, though. Looking for target, finds Necroman. Can they actually kill him again? Oh, he Slow is there. Storm. Yeah, Storm getting bashed, still has a cheese, should be fine. BKB now ends, and that could be a Vos down too far out from his base. He'll he end up buyback. dropping. He's got buyback. Yeah, but he can't buy back because he's disconnected. Buyback. He can't. Buyback. No! The Bruce Lip making sure that Suneko is not coming closer and. Echo Slam coming forward. Actually, that could kill off Dendi. In comes RP though. DK Phobos got in that four man RP that they were waiting for, but there's no damage to do. Dendi buys back though. They might be able to save this one as another RP comes out just on Necroman to make sure that DK Phobos can get away. He will continue focusing on, on the racks or trying to not to die from Dendi who's back in this. His BKB might not be there, but he's trying to do what he can. Magnus ends up going down, and I think Dendi will follow him in the grave, and I think that might be it. For this game, well, as Burning United, if a vote buyback, the fight would be so different. I mean, it must not feel really good for Burning United to uh, to win like this. But yeah, nonetheless, it's I mean, sad games. all this disconnects. Yeah, it is really sad. As come with me says, yeah, I'm really sad right now. I think they could have. They, I. Do you think they would have won with a Vost in the game? I think they were favored, but yeah, yeah, they were favored, but they probably didn't. That doesn't mean they did win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, were won. they were favored. That's uh. Yeah. 10-0. Sing song. Yep, unbeaten. He's back. I'd say though, a Vost was unbeaten as well before he disconnected. <laughs> he has one kill though. 
Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, he was... He hadn't died. Yep. He had four assists. And then only one kill. V involved in five kills. Total. Not yeah, that many. Four assists is pretty good. Well, that's a disappointing ending. Any any uh, last words, by the way, before we tune off? Even though it was a really sad game, it was fun to cast with you. Aw, thanks. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... This yeah, the the disconnects were kind of annoying, I guess. Yeah, it was a sad ending. Could have been great. I'm sad. Me slightly too. Well. All right then. All right then. <laughs> um, of course you were watching the Dota 2 Champions League. Uh, it's still in the group stages. Every team plays two games. So today, Burnley United won two games against Navi. Burnley United is actually number one on the ranking of the group stages for this division. So. So far, so good. And with these two wins, they will keep their number one place. Navi, with these two losses, will be in the bottom two teams. So they're they're not really doing too great. But as mentioned before, they needed to win these games mostly for morale and for showing people that they are indeed back. But I feel like they couldn't really show what they were made of with today's games uh, due to mostly uh, disconnects and, uh, and stand-ins. So unfortunately, that was a thing. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming out to watch. And... Um, where can people find you, Admiral Bulldog? Follow they you. They can find me on Twitter at Dong Dude. Uh huh. It's not Dong Dude. Uh, it's, Dong Dude. it's Admiral Bulldog. Okay, good. Follow there. That's all. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Of course, I'm also on Twitter on Achiever Gaming. Uh, follow there and. Uh, of course, follow this channel where you're watching right now and join Dota Red so you can make sure that you never miss a broadcast ever. Well, actually, you probably will if you only follow this channel because you have to follow nice. a lot more. But um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Dance game. Dance game.